Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, I'm making this video today because I've been putting it off for far too long. Uh, so I just, I'm real eager to show you guys what I've been working with on this, this project here at the house. Uh, I recently, well, about six months ago or a little more, I got a filing cabinet, legal filing cabinet, a four drawer one, uh, that I've been putting all my comics in and I've been putting them in alphabetical order and everything like that and trying to get everything organized and look pretty nice, you know, keep everything clean. And, uh, I got the idea initially from, uh, Bromine, I believe is his name on YouTube. He's got his own channel. Uh, I changed a few things that, you know, that from what he did and I, and I added a few things for myself. So I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing and how I've been doing it. And, you know, some of the supplies I've been using. So uh, without further ado, here it is. This is my filing cabinet that I got. I picked it up at my local Salvation Army for pretty cheap. It was like their half day uh, half day sale on Wednesday. Um, this is all my kids, a lot of my kids' stuff and some of my stuff. But uh, yeah, as far as the organ organizing everything, I got, like I said, I got the idea from another YouTuber. And, uh, but I've been going through with my label maker and stuff and and just putting everything in alphabetical order and I have uh, the blue tabs I made DC the red tabs I made Marvel and the yellow tabs I made independent books so this is what I'm currently working with right now um, as you can see this stuff is what I'm work. What this is mostly my stuff, and the other two drawers are my kids. And this is stuff that I got a label, got a read, got a bag and board. This is my kids' stuff. I have uh, my graded books, you know, stored in here for the time being. This is stuff I got a bag and board. Also, I still have two and a half more long boxes to bag and board and put back in here and organize and put in alphabetical order but as you can see this is stuff I still got to make labels for this is my wife's my daughter's and my son's books but as you can see I have a lot to do and I don't have enough room so I probably will have to buy another another filing cabinet to fit them all in but what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you what I done as far as making the divides and everything for this. What I did was is I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought I want to say probably like 5 or 6 of the foam boards that you can get there. Fairly good size. I believe they're they're a little bit smaller, about the same size as what you'd get anywhere else. But it's for only for a buck, I think it was. Um, but I measured this. I measured everything out here, and luckily everything was like a perfect fit. And what I did was is I made individual boxes, and I'll probably show you here in a second. I made individual boxes out of the foam board, so I got four boxes here and I just laid them in there and that's what I set my uh my my uh books in all right so this is my this is the box system that I did with the foam board I just did all the measuring and and I cut them out with razor blade and whatnot and I just put it put it built them put them together with the uh white duct tape on all all the corners hold everything together and as you can see, it's pretty much an exact, it's an exact fit to the cabinet. And it keeps everything nice and snug. Exactly where it should be. Now what I wanted to show next is how I did the divides and labels what i did is i i went and bought um bags or i'm sorry boards you know same things you would get for bags and boards and i used those as my divides 
And the reason why I did that was because I seen on, I think, Bromaine's videos that he bought the plastic uh, divides and they interfered with closing. And you could not close, it would, it would get stuck. And as you can see, these are absolutely perfect fit and they do not rub or anything. Uh, but what I did is I, I used the boards and I used a uh, card stock or you can use index cards or you can use a board, cut it up into pieces that you need. And uh, what I did was, is I basically cut this piece, the tab part, the exact width of the tape that I was using. So there was no extreme measuring or anything going on like that. And these are the tapes I got. You can get these at, I got these at Walmart in the painter's section. They have different types of painter's tape and uh, duct tape. So I just cut out my index cards or whatever I used that had some sort of thickness or the same thickness as the, the board. And I basically taped it to this put down the tape, the colored tape that I was using. And then I got my label maker and labeled over that. So I'll have a reference to what I am, which uh, comic company I have, kind of keep it all organized. But that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, there's also some, some, uh, some books, you might know or like this one star wars i have a independent and red keep it all together because marvel did star wars i have some of those and i have some of the uh uh dark horse the dark horse comics so instead of keeping them and keeping them separate and different tabs i just labeled the tabs like robocop uh, marvel did Lo robocop and i believe dark horse did it also so that's what i do with like when multi uh publishers make the same character I just keep it all all kind of organized that way keep them all together uh, but that's pretty much it uh, like I said I got the idea it's a work in progress this is what it looked like for the longest time is I just had my kids write write the names of the titles and it looked like this for the longest time but I'm slowly working my way down the cabinet to get it to where it will all look like the top shelf so if this i hope this helps you out and gives you some ideas um like i said i got the idea from i believe his uh name is bromine like i said i just changed a few things up and i ran with it but yeah i'm telling you i, I want to say the most expensive thing that i bought was the label maker but other than that, you know, I, the the boards I got from the Dollar Tree, I got like five of them, I think, five or six, and that did the all four drawers. And each uh, each thing of tape was like maybe a dollar or two dollars a piece or something like that. It wasn't expensive, and I'm very pleased with it. I just got to go through with my other two long boxes, and I got to. Put in all the new titles I got so everything's gonna have to be shifted moved down to make room for other titles but uh yeah that's it so uh, I appreciate you watching and hope this helps you out yes I also wanted to show you my uh, little support system I made here and all I did was is I took the uh, the extra foam board scraps that I had and I made a little support system so none of the books would get extremely bent up and of course you know as I get more books this would have to change or or I'd have to just make another one but they're scraps and like I said you go to the Dollar Tree I made made this about about the same size as the book so you ain't got to worry about it getting bent up or anything like that. That it stays flush, secure, and without damaging, damaging the comic. 
All right, guys, I appreciate you watching my uh, little short video on what I've been working with, my little project. And as soon as I am able to finish it or add to it, such as another cabinet, stuff like that, I will probably try to go through the process and show you everything that I did as far as making the, all the measurements and all that stuff. So I uh, appreciate you watching the video. Take care and keep on keeping on and have a blessed day.